Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, another video, another training footage, training, raw, training, voiceover, footage, video. Today is a special treat. Uh, these are kind of the workouts I like to call a feel-good workout. These are the workouts I've been doing on off days for my squats. Now, uh, goals are continue to slowly lose weight, maintain my weight, get a little bit leaner, continue to build some muscle while I can at this body weight. That's what I'm kind of eating at maintenance-ish um, while my cardio is still fairly high to feel good. Keep cardio up to feel good. Keep pushing the squat and continue to learn the clean and some of these weightlifting movements. So these are, again, are the workouts I'm doing on non-heavy days. And for me, the heavy days are now my Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Heavy squat days, some cleans, some pulls, uh, and a heavy-ish overhead, whether it be push press, press, behind the head push press, jerk, some variation. Uh, I am benching often, two or three times a week, um, on top of these feel-good days. So. Uh, I took a little break from training footage on the channel because I bought a house, we moved into it, we had a bunch of different things going on, and now you get to see what I've been doing during that time. Um, I want my joints to feel good, I want to feel good as a human, I want to feel good as an athlete. If you guys maybe kind of throw it in here, I just randomly dunked uh, a hat because that's all we had. I'm feeling light, I'm feeling athletic again. Um, so I want to keep it there. So today we got uh, basically an upper body day, I'm going to do no lower body besides some assault bike to get uh, some blood in my legs, feel a little bit, breathe a little bit, sweat a little bit. Um, but I have uh, one or two horizontal pushes. So I'm gonna do dumbbell push today. Uh, one, uh, two to three back movements. So I already did a set of pull-ups, uh, close grip, just to warm up my back. I'm gonna do a chest supported rows, one of my favorite variations for back. Uh, I often like a hammer strength vertical uh, chest row, but we're at Untamed today and he has a seal row machine, which feels amazing, so I'll probably do that. He actually has a chest press machine, so that'll probably be my second variation in incline press, um, because all my, again, on my heavy days is all vertical pressing. Um, and then I'll finish out with arms. Get a little pump, I always wanna continue to look like I lift, even though some of you may disagree. I'm a little bit bigger in person than on this camera. I'm not that good at posing or angles or getting naked. Um, so that's the goal. How we program it is uh, fairly simple. I like to keep the same group of exercises for anywhere from four to maybe even 16 weeks. And I like to slowly progress on them, whether I get a rep or a set or go a little bit heavier. Just every week I'm trying to push myself. I'll do two to three working sets with a bunch of warm-ups. The bunch of warm-ups for me are basically uh, what I call the feel-good sets. I get a nice pump before I even get to the heavier weights. So then my joints and everything feels really fresh for that working weight and also feels fresh tomorrow. Same reason I'm doing cardio, loosens up my hips. Uh, we squatted heavy yesterday. Another comeback squat PR plus a bunch of heavy cleans so my legs just get tight or sore after that and uh, doing some assault bike walking biking uh, outside that kind of gets the flush going uh, and mentally feels good for me to move almost every single day I am going on vacation so uh, we have a bunch of these videos stocked up so we won't miss any videos but I'm going to try to train on vacation, um, going to a family wedding in Florida, uh, and then doing a little bit of vacation things with my mom. First vacation in a long time, so it should be a lot of fun, but I'm still going to try to get uh, at least two squats in that trip. I'm gone for about a week, uh, and it's some kind of clean and jerk uh, in that trip to continue to make this progress. But uh, hypertrophy days, whatever you want to call it, I'm not the, the write a note guy. I, I don't write down exactly sets and reps, although it works for many people. Mentally, I just kind of know what kind of weight and what kind of reps I did the weeks previous. I'm just going to try to top that. So get a little sweat on, fast pace, very short rest period. Sometimes I superset exercises uh, like a, a row and a, and a chest press or a bicep curl and a chin up. Uh, whatever feels good for that moment, I get it done in about an hour and we move on. Uh, Connor and our homie Ryan's in town, they're doing some weightlifting, so uh, I mostly just came out here to support them and uh, feel good. So uh, let's hop into the workout.